That's actually really funny because you're not going to get any of those things that you asked for because you are relying on your own selfish desires before consulting in me and understanding and trusting that I know what's best for you. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. All right. Very, very exciting announcement. Your girl got a job. If you've been following me for a while, you will have known that I was laid off at my old previous workplace in late July. And through that, you guys, I felt extremely defeated. I felt very rejected. I felt unheard. I felt un unseen. It was honestly, at one point I was like, God, why'd you open these doors to close them so soon? Like I was just asking all these questions, you know, and it was just a really, really hard time in my life. And in those few months, I just prayed and prayed about it. And honestly, I was like, you know what? But obviously I'm, I'm supposed to go through this for a reason and, you know, and I was only supposed to be at this job for a season. And so there's something that I am learning through this and you guys, oh my goodness, I have learned so much. I'm not even kidding. I have learned so much even while working there, but also after I was laid off, like there has been four months of seriously me just waking up and truly spending time with the Lord, praying more, seeking his presence, like seeking him in everything. I'm talking, I am like continuously praying throughout my day, like conversations after conversation, like, hey, Lord, like me again, um, you know, should I do this? What about this? Like, what do you think of this? Before I get into it, I just want to say one thing, but I truly believe had I not gone through that layoff, I would have not opened up my Bible more to God. I would have not used my platforms on social media as a place or as an outlet to share God's word and share his gospel that resulted in people experiencing his goodness opening their Bibles, opening their hearts to the Lord. And so I look at every single circumstance or situation that happens in my life and I'm like, okay, there is something to be learned here. Like there's not a season you enter where you don't learn something from. And for me to have an even deeper relationship with God, I seriously think that's what he wanted. And that's why I was let go. Because if I had not been let go, I would have still been working my eight to five job. I wouldn't have been relying on him a ton because I wasn't initially. And one of those things he he wanted me to learn was to know him to build a relationship with him and I am just truly so grateful and so honestly me sitting in front of my camera with no script so this is just going to be either a long or b it's going to take a while for me to get to the point but so in the season of not having a job the bible verse that really really stuck out to me and that I held on to for so long and I still hold on to is Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and give you a future and I was just remaining so faithful to that one scripture because I was like, okay, God, clearly I'm supposed to learn something from it. And so I know you're going to give me a future. I know there's hope. And I was just constantly seeking what it is that he wants me to do. And I was also, you guys, through this process, I was praying. I was like, okay, Lord, I hope I reach like thousands of subscribers on YouTube. I hope I get monetized. I hope I don't ever have to go back to a full-time job. I hope that I can make more money doing my own full-time content creation. Um, then, then it would be at a full nine to five job. But if I do get a job, God, if I do have to get a job, I hope that it's a remote or B hybrid. You guys, that didn't happen. <laughs> Just letting you know that didn't happen. It is a job that is in office five out of five days. And I'd never even got monetized for being a content creator. And I say all of this because it is so funny how God works. Like, do you understand where I was coming at? Like the posture that I was coming at was, this is what I want. I want this to happen. I'm praying it. I'm not gonna stop praying it until I get it. Like I was coming at a posture, basically telling God, like, this is what I want done. And hopefully you can show up in that way. Like who am I in the Bible? It literally says that humans tend to plan their course, but the Lord establishes their step. And so yes, although I knew of the verse and although I, I come on here and I talk to you guys about Proverbs and I talk to you guys about scriptures, like trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, but submit to him in all your ways and he'll make your path straight. Like I say all this, but also I was coming at him with like, God, hey, this is how I'd like you to show up. This is what I want. And he's like, Alexis, that's actually really funny because you're not going to get any of those things that you asked for because you are relying on your own selfish desires before consulting in me and understanding and trusting that I know what's best for you. I say all this, you guys, because I got a job that is five out of five days in office. That means that my aspiration to be a content creator is no longer going to be 
come on at 2 p.m., come on at 11 a.m. and upload a video or make a little IG reel when I felt like it. And I'm taking this as a season where God is redirecting my path. And I feel like he's telling me like, you need to be willing to adapt because this is how your passion and hobby is going to align with your job. And this is what it's going to look like. And either you could be okay with it or you don't need to be okay with it. And you could still try to go your own way and lean on your own understanding. And so you guys, I know I'm coming off here a little bit like, like I'm in your face, but seriously, I prayed for clarity. Like I prayed for clarity every single day. And I was like, God, I don't feel like there's clarity in my life. I don't know what's going on. And the only reason why I thought that was because there was clarity in my life, but it was not in a way that I wanted. And I completely missed it because my clarity meant this is what I want to happen. And it didn't happen. And he was always clear from the get go. I didn't see them or notice them because I was so blinded by my own selfish desires, if that makes sense. And I'm being like 100% upfront with you guys. Like this is seriously what has been going on in my life. And although I've been remaining faithful to God, although I've been trusting him, there are times where I just expect him to show up in ways that he doesn't. And, and in the Bible, it talks about adversity and you may face challenges. You may face situations. And for a long time, I was like, okay, well, I'm not getting a job. I'm not, the interview process is going not very great. I feel like I'm putting in this research, but nothing's happening. I'm applying to all these jobs, not hearing back. And whatever. And I just want to say that God is showing up in your life. You guys, he is just, he might just be working behind the scenes. Like you may not even realize the goodness of our God because you haven't seen it, but I want to encourage you that it is not something to be seen. It's something that, that is felt. And I promise you that he is not absent. He is stirring in you. He is doing something, but we need to be open to him redirecting our paths because because what you want, he may do complete opposite of. And I just want you to realize and I just want you to not miss it because I do believe that you can miss the calling that God has placed on your life. Like if you are constantly trying to go your own way, you're trying to establish your steps. I truly think that we can miss the calling that God has placed on our lives. And if you're not willing to adapt or change direction, that could be a way that you miss it. So I say this because you guys, I am so extremely blessed and so grateful that I was given this position, even when I felt unqualified. Like the best part about this position is I felt super unqualified. I applied for it. I wrote up a little cover letter. I honestly thought when I got this position that I could talk to them and be like, okay, well, is there any way that you could, you know, are you guys uh, a part of like a hybrid model after like a year or whatever? And they straight out of the get go said, no, like this is in office five out of five days. But I am so excited. I'm so excited to meet the team members. I'm so excited to be a part of an organization that values the same things that I value. And also in this position, as an email marketing specialist, there is so much to be learned. And I'm so excited because I have no experience in that. Like, that's why I felt so unqualified because... I felt not experienced, but they saw my potential. They saw that I was a learner. They saw that I can do this and they believed in me. And that also is showing me that I need to believe in myself. And so if you are in that situation or you're in that, that state of mind where you feel very unqualified, like, I just want to say, you guys apply to the dang job, apply to the dang job. Even if there's 500 applicants, okay. Apply to the dang job. If you feel like seven out of 10 requirements are not enough. God works in wonders. God works in miraculous ways. And, and I just hope that you guys are okay with being redirected because God knows what's best. Like knowing that God gave me this opportunity, it would be so selfish of me to be like, Oh, you actually don't know what you're doing. God. Not really. Um, Yeah. So I'm actually trying to be an aspiring content creator and I'm trying to reach people through the Bible. I'm trying to encourage people with my words. I'm trying to do all this. But now that I have a job that I have to go into office five out of five days, like I'm probably not going to be able to create as much content as you'd like. Like who in the heck am I, you guys? I'm not even kidding. That's why I'm so passionate about this, like this topic right now, because I'm stopping in my own tracks. God very may well have put this position in my life as an opportunity to be like, Alexis, you need to actually step away from content creation for a little bit, or you need to step back. 
because I'm not even kidding you guys. A week ago, I had these thoughts where I was like, I just feel so compelled every single day to come on here, just come on here, try to upload as much content as I can. I felt like I was pulling out of a place where it was empty. I felt very unauthentic at times. I just felt so burnt out, even though I didn't have a full-time job at the time. Obviously, I don't have it yet just because I accepted it, but I don't start until December 4th. But I was coming from a place where God knew that I was coming from a place where there was just a lack, I feel like. He, he knew that there was um, times where I would come on here because I just felt like I needed to instead of wanting to. And that's another reason why I think this position also presented itself and I got it is because, because he wants me to take a step back. And I trust in him. I trust in him. If this following, if this platform grows, it grows. And and honestly, this this position presented itself because God was like, hey, Alexis, like I want you to learn these new skills. I think being at the office and being exposed to so many people and maybe there are people that are Christians there. Maybe there are people that are religious. Maybe there are, you know, girlfriends that you guys can go, you know, get, get dinner with. And like, there's just so many things that I'm looking at where I'm like, God, you honestly are doing so many good things in my life. And how dare I be so ungrateful and how dare I want something done in a certain way. He's giving me grace and he's like, I'm not mad. I'm not upset with you, but this is how it's going to be. And whether it's for a season, whether it's for four years, whether it's for whatever, like I'm going to continuously step into what God is doing and what God is calling into my life because I don't want to mess it up. And I don't want to be so ungrateful to a point where I'm like, no, actually I'm not going to accept a job or I'm not going to accept a job because I want to make these videos every single day because I feel like this is my calling. Like, yes, you guys, I'm not even kidding for a little bit. I did. I felt like I was supposed to be let go from that position so that I could use my YouTube platform and Instagram as a way to reach people, but also make a living off. And it just hasn't happened. And not that it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so mad, but it's like, it takes a long time, obviously, to grow on these platforms and get monetized. So yeah, but you know, God has different plans for me and I'm so excited. I am so grateful to to have had this opportunity and I will let you guys know how it goes. But yeah, I just hope today encourages you that do not be scared to step out into the unknown. Do not be scared to, um, to redirect or, or be willing to change. God wants you to grow. And there's a reason that there are opportunities being presented to you. And so Don't for a second think that of this season as so permanent that there's there's never going to be a time for you to take a step back and do what you want to do like me, like create content or become a full time YouTuber in 10 or so years. And so I just hope you guys can look at it in a different lens because um, he is so good and I am so, so expecting of what he's going to do in my life may not have been something that I ideally had in my head. I'm still trusting in him and knowing that like this is all for his glory. This is not for me. This is this is not for our selfish desires. Like this is for his kingdom and my content creation and my job. Like it's going to have to look different now. And I'm really excited. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I hope you guys um, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> or maybe don't. Maybe you don't feel compelled to, and that's fine because God's like, no, Alexis, I don't want you to get any more subscribers. I'm just kidding. But yeah, Um, I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope this encouraged you just a little bit. I'm sorry this was all over the place. It's just coming from a a posture of like, this is seriously where I'm where I'm at. And I'm sorry I talk so fast. I'm just so excited to talk. (laughs) Bye, you guys.